based on the concept of uh, sign rule of the trigonometric ratios and uh, and the concept of changing the uh, trigonometric ratios into one form of from another form uh, from that concept we have to solve these questions find the values of sine 765 and cosec of minus 1410 all right so how to solve this to solve this you know uh, i have already uh, i have made a lot of videos based on these kinds of questions all right uh, always you know we have to we have to work on uh, 765 or whatever 1410 in these angles and uh, we need to convert these things uh, this, this these things into the into the form of 90 you know uh, let me write here first i'm doing the first question sign you know 765 all right so I need to represent this 765 into the form of 90 so what I'm gonna do first always and always I'm telling you divide 765 by 90 all right so if I'm dividing uh, 765 by 90 then 9 8 the 72 so it is 8 72 it means 720 all right so how much I got 5 all right and 6 minus 2 that's uh, 45 and that's 0 so what I can write that sine 765 is uh, equal to sine 8 times 90 degree plus 45 degree all right now after writing this what I told you see the multiple of 90 if the multiple of 90 here is a even number right if it is an even number there will be no change on the trig ratio all right and if this is a odd number there will be change in the this trigonometric ratio all right here is sine so it will change if this is odd but here 8 is even so what i will write i will just write the same trigonometric ratio sine and this will be 45 all right because 8 times 90 if you see in the quadrant way it is something like this see you know uh this is our first 90 degree second 90 degree third 90 degree fourth 90 degree fifth 90 degree sixth 90 degree seventh 90 degree eighth 90 degree means after completing eighth 90 degree you know we are again here in this in this zero line all right or you can say 360 line or you can say 720 line all right we are here and after that we need to go further how much 45 degrees so it means we are here all right somewhere like this 45 degree it means we are in the first quadrant and in the first quadrant you know the sign is always positive all right so it's simply sine 45 degrees so you can simply pl plug the value of sine 45 degrees that is 1 over root 2 and that's our answer that's it it's very simple all right uh and now the turn is of second in the same way we will be doing that one also all right uh our question is here cosec of minus 1410 degree all right first i want to tell you here uh cosine First, I want to tell you here, cosecant of minus theta is actually minus of cosec theta. So what I'm going to do now here, I'm going to write this cosec of minus 1410 as a minus cosecant of 1410 degree. And again, the same operation I will do as I did with the sign 765. I'm going to divide this 1410 by 90 degree. All right. So it will be now uh, 90 times 1. All right. That is 90 and i'll get one and this is now 14 and 14 minus 9 that is 5 1 and then this will drop up all right so now again i have 90 and here it is 51 so it will be 9 5 45 right so 5 to 45 4 5 0 and then it will be 0 and 11 minus 5 that is 60 and this will be 0 all right so it is 60 so i can write this as a minus cosec of all right uh this is 1 for 1 0 and 1 for 1 0 I can write now as a 15 times 90 degree plus 60 degree all right 15 times 90 degree plus 60 degree and now see this 15 the multiple of 90 degree what I told you here if the multiple of 90 degree is an even number then there will be no change in the uh, trigonometric ratio sine will be sine only and if there is odd then there will be some changes all right that that sine ratio will change into the cosine all right let me tell you how the changing takes place sine get changed into the cosine or cosine get changed into the sine similarly tan get changed into the cotangent or cotangent get changed into the tan similarly secant get changed into the cosecant or cosecant get changed the sec so here we have cosec cosec will change into the sec all right because 15 is a odd 
odd number you know odd multiple of 90 degrees so it will be now this is minus as it is and now I'm discussing only about these things all right so uh, here cosec 15 times 90 plus 60 I said already it will change so let me change sec 60 degree and now we need to take care of the sign all right uh, what will be the sign here it will be plus or minus all right so that I'm gonna confirm you by uh, swing into the into the this quadrant all right so we have we have 15 times 90 so where it will go simply div uh, divide by 4 or you just you, you, you can just check it up first 90 second 90 third 90 fourth 90 it means when we make one round we cover four 90s and then 890 and then 12 90s and then 1690s 1690s we are here but this is 16th 90s all right we are completing here so this will be 15th 90 15th 90 plus 60 means we are here all right this is 60 degree all right so we are here now it means we are in the fourth quadrant in fourth quadrant the value of the cosec is always negative so what we have to do here we have to put here a negative sign because in the fourth quadrant according to the cast rule all right c a s t cos cosine you can say and uh, secant you know these two values are positive and rest of these all are negative in the fourth quadrant so that's why we need to put here negative because cosec is negative here and positive in the second quadrant all right so now we need to put here negative sign and now this minus and minus will multiply and will give you plus value and sec 60 is uh, simply 2 so uh, the value of the cosec minus 1410 degree is 2 all right this is how we need to find out so very simple you just have to write your given uh, angle into the form of 90 degree and see the multiple of 90 whether that is even or odd if there is even then you need to make no change and if there is odd then you have to make the change according to this rule all right and after that check the sign you know where actually the transposing where it is uh, throwing you up here 15 plus 60 degree 15 90s plus 60 degree is throwing you into the fourth quadrant where the the sign is here negative similarly whatever the ratio you have here I took the example of cosec maybe anything sec or sine or anything that you have so see in which quadrant you are right and in that quadrant what is the value whether it's a negative value or positive values that's it you check it up and you give the sign and solve it up and if there's any question to ask me uh, in this explanation then please feel free to comment below this video I'll definitely get back to your comment alright see you in the next video goodbye